debt funding is a, a difficult place to be. Well, you hear of, you, know, you hear on the press of all sorts of types of funding available from debt funding, from venture capital funding, angel funding, government grants. The question is actually how many of those really are available in the current market? Um, debt funding is very, very difficult. I know the government has been you know, encouraging, particularly the banks that the government owns at the moment, to lend to businesses. And there are opportunities, but the banks are still taking commercial decisions as to who they're lending to. Um, debt funding is tough. Um, you know, it takes a lot of time to manage the debt once you've got it. Um, and it takes probably even longer to negotiate the debt in the first place. So debt funding is a, a difficult place to be. Um, I think equity funding is what, what you need um, at the moment. The, there is money out there in the venture capital and private equity worlds, but the valuations that um, investors are willing to, to invest at have come down significantly. So, um, you know, one area I think that you know, funding seems to be more available is in some of the government-backed venture funding programmes. Um, and the government is trying to encourage entrepreneurism. Um, so some of the government-backed funds seem to have more money and more availability to, to invest. But starting a business, often you know, the best way to kick it off and raise some funding is, is probably through family and friends. I mean, typically, I suppose, for a startup business, often, um, and especially in the current environment, sort of debt financing from banks is pretty difficult. So, you know, potentially there's still, there's still money with venture capitalists. Um, there's still quite a lot of funds that have um, still got um, amounts in there that they're willing to lend. Um, there obviously are sort of government support around some grants as well and some aid, um, some around sort of the enterprise side, which is still quite beneficial. And there's the classic piece around almost private money and sort of angel funding um, that, uh, you know, a lot of centres in the UK are promoting that sort of that collaboration um, with, you know, previous or quite existing entrepreneurs and how they funded things. Um, but it's, uh, it's a tough, it's a tough way. But if you look at some very successful businesses who have started out in a very small way in terms of the initial financing um, and how quickly they can actually monetize that and actually focus the business very much on that first period of how, actually how can we actually convert that money into cash to reinvest in the business which may drive slightly different behaviors um, during say the first sort of you know six to nine months of the business.